This week, which is actually two weeks since my last recording as a result of a vacation, 413 new stalls were installed throughout the United States and Canada, bringing the total stall count to 59,633. Red E added one station, BP Pulse added seven, Mercedes-Benz Charging Hub added four, including the first one at a shopping mall. I'll show that in just a second. Pilot Flying J added 16 in a sprint to the finish of the end of 2024. Tesla added 8, Electrify America added 4, ChargePoint added 23, EVgo added 5, EVConnect added 9, the Rivian Adventure Network added 3, and Francis added 1. Let's get into the data. First one is Ready. They added 1 station, 2 stalls in Pleasant Ridge, Michigan. Next one is BP Pulse. Lots of good things going on here. A whole bunch of Thorntons opened up. I'm guessing just because they had to hit some kind of target at the end of the year. I'm not quite sure. But the big crowd pleaser right here is the Travel Centers of America. Alpitronic Hyperchargers. 12 stalls in Jacksonville, Florida is now open. I'm guessing we're going to start to see more of these travel centers of America start to be spotted under construction and start to open. So that's all good news. Probably expect an update from me concerning BB Pulse in the next uh, couple of days, hopefully. Mercedes-Benz Charging Hub, similarly, I might have to do an update on. They open multiple stations. Uh, the one that I was mentioning in the shopping mall is right here in Ashburn, Virginia. And let me show you what that looks like. You can see they've got a NAX stall and a CCS stall. Um, it's at kind of like a shopping center business park. There's a better picture. Let me get to that one. This one right here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six chargers. I'm guessing some of them have NAX split and some of them have CCS. I'm not quite sure exactly the count. But this is the first one at a shopping center. They were going to be partnering with Simon Malls. This is not a Simon Mall property, though. It's a different mall operator. So their um, breadth has increased. So they're going all kinds of different locations. So they're not just going with their partners. They're starting to install all over the place. So we're definitely going to have to keep our eye on them. Next one is Pilot Flying J. And they had an incredible sprint to the finish. I did a road trip where I was able to charge just on Pilot Flying J, except for in New Mexico, all the way from my house, or actually from a uh, Airbnb in Brevard, North Carolina, to the Grand Canyon National Park. Uh, a couple ones to call out here, Orange, Texas. This one has been lingering for about a year, has finally opened. Also, Anthony, Texas, which also has been lingering about a year, has finally opened. This one here in Graham, North Carolina is on Interstate 40 in between Raleigh Durham, North Carolina and Greensboro, North Carolina. It has five stalls because it has a Chatamo handle. Um, so that one just opened uh, right on January 1st. McCammon, Idaho, just lots of things. This one was a sleeper site. The Yucca, Arizona is near uh, California on Interstate 40. So that was not really known to be under construction all of a sudden it opened. So lots of things going on here. Very likely I'm going to have to uh, do a Pilot Flying J update in order to try to stay abreast of all the activity that they're doing. And they don't seem to be slowing down either. Um, I was on my way home and we just randomly stopped at a Pilot Flying J in order to use the restroom and uh, check something in the car. And it was under construction. This was in uh, Mississippi. <clears throat> Tesla, this is a 20 stall in Auburn, Alabama, a town I passed through at a uh, Bucky's, and um, 16 stall in Johns Creek, Georgia, uh, New South Wales, and Alberta, Canada, also getting some loves from the Tesla Supercharger team. Electrify America added four, three of which are Evolve New York, one of which is in Fargo, North Dakota, which is really good news because that is sparsely populated. Um, is sparsely serviced from uh, DC fast chargers. So it's good news that Fargo finally opened. Here's ChargePoint. Nothing really to call out. Um, I am keeping my eye out for anything with IANA, and so far none of the entries in the database have anything for IANA, so nothing in ChargePoint or any of the other CPOs. 
Um, nothing really to call out. There's the Ford in Lakeland, Florida that's got four stalls, otherwise usual suspects. Here's EVgo. They've got five, two of which are in California. One is the 10 stall and the very large Long Island 12 stall, which we've been waiting to open has finally opened. No uh, flagship locations spotted under construction are open yet, but still they're continuing their relentless pursuit of increasing their numbers. EV Connect, usual suspects. We've got the um, car dealerships, typically uh, General Motors branded car dealerships. Here's a Honda. That's interesting. And Rivian Open 3. Uh, one in Colorado, one in California, and one in Texas. They're on a bit of a building spree. Cisco, Texas. Interesting. Whoops. And an honorable mention. Let's see. I missed Francis. Francis added one in Yukon, Oklahoma. Two stalls. And an honorable mention is Quick Charge. They opened four in the state of Wisconsin. Thanks for watching.